pretty good. Uh, can you tell us about your booth? Sure. Can I hand you the mic so we can hear you? Sure. Tell us all about it. Sure. This is a jacquard machine. It's the first use of punch cards for programming anything. Uh, it's over 150-year-old technology. Um, and it's still almost identical to how weaving is done today. Just they've swapped punch cards for solenoids and sort of called it a day. This part of the machine sort of down is identical to how modern jacquard looms are built and still work today. So this weaves? Yeah. This made that? This didn't make this. this oh, is an I was example. Like, what? Yeah, this is an example of what okay. a real industrial jacquard That's machine awesome. would be capable of doing. Okay. Um, but it's a scaled down model. This is, as far as I know, the world's smallest one that's ever been built because okay. I don't know why you would ever build a small one. Mm. Um, there are other small computer controlled ones on YouTube, but not any punch card programmed ones. So this is the original way that these were done. So where do you feed these? So they get fed up here. So they would normally get fed into here onto the drum. And I sort of have sample punch cards on right now. Do you have to hand crank it? Or? Yeah, so th originally they would have been hand cranked or with like a treadle sort of with your foot and then you would manually put the shuttle across. Wow. The modern machines are obviously, you know, fully mechanized, automatic shuttle and everything. Uh, so it works, the punch cards interact with these push rods, which move the hooks out of the way very minutely, which cause it to either be picked up or not pick picked up by the rack. That translates down to these strings, which interact with each individual heddle. Is that and, weight? Yeah, the these. Heddle? so the heddle is the individual little guy that the warp oh, string okay, passes okay. through. These are weights on the bottom and help hmm. keep everything tidy and aligned. Did you build this whole thing? So this is an existing loom that you can buy, the okay. bottom half. Um, it's like a model tabletop loom. It's relatively simplistic. I swapped out the more simplistic part of it for the jacquard machine uh, and 3D printed it all. I found a book on archive.org from 150 years ago. Someone conveniently hand drew all wow. the parts and I I was like, that's good enough. I can copy all of that and okay. 3D print it. So, what's the coolest thing you've made with this? Um, it's pretty much just for example. So, oh, okay. not a lot, but I hope to polish this up a bit more okay. and have the files available for download wow. in case anyone else that's has one of these cool. machines and it's how crazy do, enough. How are these made? The cards? So, I wrote a program in Python that takes in a Windows bitmap and generates a laser cut DXF files. And so this is, I mean, like if I was trying to understand, like, is this telling it, like, make so a row? Each each card is one row. Okay. Uh, this is actually the open source logo. If you see this part, it's the sort of top half uh, of the head, if you can sort of imagine oh, that, that okay. big black oh, area. Okay. It's, it's oh. this guy, if you can sort of think about it. Nice. So have you made anything with this or no? Just Unfortunately, I yet. made these sort of last minute, and oh, they're okay. a little bit too wide for uh, the machine. Okay. So, nice. you know, but. So is this considered weaving? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because these are similar to like I've seen crochet people, right? Or is sort that cross of. Stitch? Um, I don't know. I'm just throwing out words. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're similar in that they have okay. hooks. Oh, okay. Other than that, the process is completely oh, okay. different. This is just choosing which threads go up and which ones don't. Oh. Yep. Okay. Yep. So it's all wow, you know, this threads is pretty up neat. or down. Yep. A jacquard machine. Jacquard machine. Very cool. Named well, after thanks for Mr. Jacquard and, uh, himself. Is there something you want to share like do you have a Instagram or anything like you that? You know I don't okay. I just okay. I like doing stuff for fun awesome. so here I well, am cool. with my fun thing. Thanks for talking to us. Of course thank you. All right have a good day. You too. Very cool.